Yeah, so I just want to go ahead and uh, throw my little two cents on, uh, uh, you know, motherfucker speaking on Boosie, talking about his sticking the car challenge. You feel me? First and foremost, what you got to understand is we're dealing with a grown man speaking from his own platform. You feel me? His, his own platform. So if you know you're in a prohibited position to where you can't do it, that man don't need to give you no disclaimers talking about, hey, don't nigga, you stupid if you do it. That's like saying, hey, you know, his his previous records, you know, about maybe or maybe not in the streets with drugs. You're like, hey, hey, man, I'm not telling you go out here and do this shit. But nigga, if you go out here and do this shit, you should know the consequences. But hey, man, I'm speaking from my platform for motherfuckers who can who can participate in the challenge. Just because you can't participate in the challenge, I'm supposed to, supposed to spend some time and, and try to coach you and did it. No, nah, nigga, fuck you. Nigga, do something stupid if you want to. You feel me? Uh, that's your fault. Now... Another note on this shit, you feel me? I don't understand why motherfuckers is over here talking about Boosie need to, um, uh, you know, he needs to do this with his money. He needs to do this more positive with his money, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, for one, you don't know what that man is doing and not doing with his money. Just because the sticking the, stick the card challenge got, uh, got more pu publicity than other things he may not be, may or may not be involved in doesn't mean that he's not involved in positive uh, other thing and who's to say that this sticking a car challenge is not positive what you fail to realize y'all 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 retarded niggas out here which y'all fail to realize y'all keep on giving these crackers motherfucking power and power and power and power and power and i don't mean crackers by all white people i mean the bad white people that's out here doing bad things and just destroying the world so uh you should understand what you should understand my language i don't i don't disrespect nobody for their color their race none of us so like when i say crackers i mean like just the trashy ass white people the ones that's just doing all the dirt behind the scenes and shit like that you know i'm not talking about good white i got good white people in my in, 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 uh, on my side man you know being there on the reason why i'm alive is because of a white person you feel me because two of them you know what i'm saying so i love i love good white people to death but there's a lot of bad white people out here doing a lot of things a lot of bad things and encouraging a lot of you know negativity but either way it goes we're not talking about that what we're talking about is if these white people these crackers can do exactly what Boosie's doing and said or whatever. Why do you feel Boosie is prohibited from doing the same exact thing? Because you get you put them white people on a pedestal. Oh, this and that. Da, da, da. No, same. What's wrong with having a stick in a car? There's nothing wrong with it. It's protection. And guess what? You should have a stick in the car. I mean, I mean, it just depends on what you into. If you got haters, if you popping like, I mean, everybody has their own different reasons for having, you feel me, for whatever level of protection they feel is necessary for their life. And just because someone speaks on them and, and, you know, maybe has a fan base that says, hey, you know, uh, you know, let, let, let's do this challenge and it involves guns. Now he's bringing down the community and the culture. No. Nigga, like, what the fuck you mean? These motherfucking white people are killing us on camera every single day. They dr and and the, and the whole entire America drives by it on the on the on 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 the side of the road. Just drives by and look at it. Oh, okay, they must be doing something good because they're white. No, you killing us, nigga. But now you know when we take that same stance. Oh, now we're a terrorist. Now we, you we we doing something bad and this that, and third. No, fam, the same sense of entitlement them motherfuckers have. We got the same sense of entitlement over here, and that's the way. And that's the way a lot of a, a lot of niggas like Boosie, myself, and, and you know other other motherfuckers feel. You feel me? No, fam, you not about to the same sense of entitlement. You feel like you can do whatever the fuck you want to do to us. Then we got that same sense of entitlement over here. Come 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 fucking find out. But me personally, I don't I don't see nothing wrong with the stick in the car challenge. Shit, there's nothing but guns. You scared of guns? Don't be fucking with people who got guns. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's all different type of shit out here. If these white people, you go messing on these white people's doors, doing anything, anything these white people don't like, anything. You sneeze wrong, being our black nigga. Like Jesus said, nigga, it's a modern day crime to be black. Nigga, you sneeze wrong, nigga. These white people are walking up on you. Nigga, they killing us. Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, uh, uh, Trayvon Martin. You feel me? Look at us. You feel me? This is, this is normal for America. This is normal. And all, and all we, and all we known for doing is, or we're just going to say something about it. Hey, you need to use your system. You need to use your system that you created to kill us and, and prosecute the other people. Da, 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 da. Stop respecting their system. Stop that shit. 
You, these white people is, uh, put, have been still so much fear in y'all. Y'all don't even know, and it's fucking pathetic. It's it's unbelievable. Stop that shit. Them motherfuckers ain't got shit but guns and a motherfucking real estate. Nigga, we got the same shit. You have to demand your respect, man. Fuck that shit. You got a stick in the car, guess what? I got a stick in the car, and I'm still paying motherfuckers uh, 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 for good grades and shit. You feel me? Like, hey, there's nothing wrong with, nothing wrong with you know, nothing wrong with promoting guns. There's nothing wrong with guns. There's nothing but protection. It's like, I know y'all probably heard it before, like, uh, you know, um, you know, how you going to blame, how you going to blame the fork for you getting fat, fam? You, you the one kept putting that fork in your mouth, but you won't blame the fork. You feel me? No, you know, it's not right. So like I said, my opinion is, you know, I just had to throw my two cents on it before I get my, my little dirty ass in the shower, just woke up and shit. But, uh, go get on my, about my business, but yeah, man, man, there's nothing wrong with sticking the car challenge. Uh, he's promoting his album. He's doing a really good job. I love it. Um, nowadays with this, with these rappers, I do believe they are. I mean, I come from the streets. I've been there, done that. Motherfuckers know me, know me. I've been, you know, we, 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 we been out there. Uh, but you know, I do believe there is some level of telling on yourself and within the today's music and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, it all, it all, you all see who's real and who's fake and who really comes from that shit. But then on top of that, a lot of it comes from a level of, um, a level of evolving because just because you have this, this image of this rapper out here doing this and third in real life, that man may be like just chilling, like learning to read and well, not learning to read, but like enjoying reading and, you know, just other fruits of life. You know what I'm saying? Then, but he has this, this reputation with this music where he makes his money off of him. They like to hear this. So yeah, fuck it. All right. So I can get back. I could tap back in that mode. Yeah. And they go out there and do blah, 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 blah. But whose fault is that? Nigga, he built his own platform. These white people already don't, don't, don't allow us to have any type of platform. So anything that we do make, like make for ourselves is, is a, is a felony, you know, even, no, no matter, no matter what it is, like it's a crime to, to be successful as a black person. And then now we find our only little way that, uh, that a lot of people found to get up out of the hood is use their voice with the rap and things like, that. and now you, and now your own people turn you down from this and third or, or, you know, and, and that's a crime, but you got to watch this and third. No, fam, you have to learn how to enjoy your freedom and you are entitled to your freedom. Quit, quit, quit giving these white people a pedestal, man. These white people are no better than you. They're actually less than you. You know, we're all equal. You feel me? But the, when you show you a, when you show you, cause we're all part of the same human race. But when you show all this ugly side and negative and chaos and just a bunch of negativity and stuff like that, all the good people, whether you white, black, good, we will always, always trump that fucking, at, at negativity and that hate and that ugly stuff. So, you know, it, 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 it'll be, it'll, it'll cease soon enough. Uh, but you know, yeah, I just had to throw my two cents out there and get my dirty ass on in the shower real quick. But, um, yeah, man, y'all be good, man. Leave that man alone, man. Boosie ain't doing nothing. He promoting his shit. And guess what? You should go get you some more sticks in the car. And if that's not your lifestyle, then why are you even promote and why are you even fucking uh, commenting on it? Just bang your head to the shit. It's a good song and keep it going. You feel me? Motherfuckers just want a lot of attention. You know what I'm saying? That's all that is. But, you know, I've seen the shit and I just feel like I throw my two cents. I'm learning this social media thing. You know, it's kind of annoying, but it's kind of fun a little bit, a little bit, you know, learning how to do this shit. But, you know, it is what it is. Everybody have a great, productive day. Deuces.